Hello, hello everyone. This is Jen with Jenston Art. Come on in, have a seat, get a cup of coffee, whatever it is you want to do. Come on in and enjoy a nice afternoon of painting with Jenston Art. And let's see what we can do today in our New Technique Wednesday. I am presently going live in a few different groups today. So say hello. Hi, Elizabeth. I am, um, I'm in three or four different groups today. So we've got a bunch of you coming in from different places. Hello, everyone. I just tried to print my, my uh, reference photo out. Let me go see if my, my printer is working. I will be right back while y'all all come on here and say hello. And no, it did not print. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Miss Doris. Hello there, Ginger LaCour. I'm not sure who that is, but hi. <laughs> Your name is not showing up. Hi, Miss Cheryl. Hi, Miss Lynn. Hello, Angela. Come on in and say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. And we are going to have a super duper fun time today. Um, I want to let you know that I am um, an acrylic artist. And just about most everything I do is acrylics. I do also um, dabble in watercolors. And every once in a while, we'll do like a bonus painting in our membership where we do some watercolors. And um, today is one of those days where we are just going to use mainly acrylics. But I am going to play around with a couple of different things. Um, just because I like trying new things and I like to do them live while we're all learning together. It's one of the things that I've always loved to do. I'm originally um, from Louisiana. We're actually in the process of moving back to Louisiana. We've been in Montana for about three years and um, it's time to go back home. So we are heading on back. Um, in a couple of months, actually, I should be packing right now. You know that? I have to pack all this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all some stories while we're on here today. So I'm anxious to see what y'all all have to say. So we put our house on the market. We have a house in, um, in Montana, and it's up on the top of a mountain. Okay. So um, let's just say my printer is offline. Let me try to do this again. So um, we've, we've had our fun. We have experienced the mountains. We have experienced the cold and the snow and all of that good stuff. And we're ready to go home because that's where family is. Or at least I'm ready to go home because that's where family is. So um, yeah, it was just a fun experience, but it's time to go home. So we put our house up on the market. Um, last week and within 24 hours we had a full offer on it and so we have about six weeks before we have to move out and uh thank goodness what they did was they asked for the i'm so glad they did this they asked for the whole house to be fully furnished <laughs> that was like a dream come true for me you know most people don't want your furniture they want their own furniture they wanted the whole house fully furnished so we don't have to pack up our stuff. So, it's, well, I mean, you know, we still have to pack up our personal belongings, but um, hello. Hi, Paula. Hi, Miss Ruth and Suzanne and John. I'm so glad y'all are here. All right. So let's, um, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. I'm trying to print the, um, the reference photo out, but I'm having a time of my life right here to do that. Photo on plain paper. Yes, let's try this again. My printer is saying that I am offline and I cannot get it to print. 
Hmm. 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 Not sure why it's doing that. I can't get it to print. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, so it, on the Facebook page, when I sent um, this picture, this is what we are going to do. I am working on, this is an 11 by 14, okay? This is an 11 by 14, and this is what they call a hard board panel, all right? It's just one of those things that I like to paint on. And let me make um, let me make the screen so where y'all can see this panel instead of my face. Let me go and make that. There we go. Okay, so this is a hardboard panel. It's an 11 by 14. And this is what we're going to do today. We are going to paint. I'm just going to hand draw it. And I'm going to show y'all how to hand draw something, um, whether you know how to draw a stick figure or you know how to draw the most elegant, building or whatever it is. I'm just going to show you how to do the whole thing from scratch. And I am also going to use, um, I'm looking for my little marker. Okay. I'm also going to use a, um, a stencil today. I've never used a stencil before, but I bought this stencil the other day. And I was like, you know what? It's one of those things I can use for my new technique Wednesdays. And we're gonna try, um, we're gonna try to use a stencil for our background. So I'm just gonna show you what the painting is going to look like. If you have not seen the photograph of it, and I'm so sorry, my printer has just decided not to cooperate with me today. Okay, so. It's basically going to be, we're painting something for Easter. You know how we love to paint something for Easter. It's basically going to be, we're going to do a pretty crazy background here. But what we are going to do is, it's going to be a cross. And the cross is going to be like right here. I'm just trying to draw it the best I can. Okay, very, very simple cross. We're going to make it look like wood. I'm just going to go all the way down. I am using a, um, a charcoal pencil. You don't have to use a charcoal pencil. You can use whatever you want. But I just want you to see what we're getting ready to do. And then we're going to do some um, Easter lilies that are laying down. You're going to kind of look like this. I'm just looking at that picture really quick. And then we have some stems. And then we have another Easter lily. It's going to go like this. So very, very simple to draw. You see how I'm just kind of making like a big U for the Easter lily. And then I'm just going to come back in and come back in with some little loops. And then there's going to be some more little loops. Just some little petals back here. So that basically is the main photo. But what we're going to do, this is just an, uh, a bud that's not open. What we're going to do is we are going to focus on the, the, uh, the painting itself and how to make this painting look like it's almost like 3D, like the photograph. So I am going to make sure that I drop the photograph in the Facebook groups and also on um, my page so y'all can see what we're actually doing. All right. So let me get my paints. We're going to start with um, the photo that I have has a really like an aqua turquoise blue in the background. But I want to try to use this stencil with it. So I'm trying to think, by the way, I put, I put a, um, I put a clear gesso on this board, on this hard board, because I did not want it to warp. It's just a hard board panel. It's kind of like, like an MDF type thing. So I didn't want it to warp and I didn't want the water to go, you know, straight through it. So I put a clear coat of gesso on it first. And then now I'm going to grab um, 
I think I'm just going to grab this. This is a teal. Oh, no, I don't want to use open because it doesn't dry fast enough. Let me go with these right here. I'm trying to think of what colors I would use since I want to use this stencil. So the flowers are going to be white and the cross is going to be brown. And so our background is going to be, we're going to start with, let's go more on the, I always love blue. What color do y'all want the background? What kind of color are y'all thinking? Give me some ideas because we're going to have fun with this today. Howdy, Miss Catherine. Hi, Cindy. Off the printer and turn it back on. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Miss Paula. I would love to see your work. Thank you, Shay, for sprinkling. Hello, Suzanne. Blue, light blue. Don't we all love blue? You know, blue is one of the most popular colors in the world, especially if you're working on um, like selling things. People love to use blue. Did y'all know that? Because it's a very soothing color and it draws people in. So it's also my birthstone. Who else has a sapphire birthstone? All right. So I'm going to make it really, let me think. Am I going to make it light and then darker on top with the stencil? Or am I going to make it dark and then lighter on top with the stencil? I think I'm going to go dark first and then lighter on top with the stencil. Not sure what the stencil is going to do. This is just something that I'm going to try. All right. So stenciling today, and I don't even know how to stencil. I've actually never stenciled before. So for all of y'all out there who like to do all of those mixed media things, Y'all can probably help me today. All right. The color I am using is super, super bright. And not only can you see the, um, the brown through it because I'm on this board, I like the fact that I have that brown behind everything just because it kind of adds a totally different vibe, almost like a rustic vibe to what I'm doing. Y'all see that? How much darker it's coming out than if I had a white background? Okay, I really like that. So this is, this is just a cheap artist loft paint. It's called turquoise. And so that's going to start me off on this journey. All I'm doing is trying to cover most of this background. You do not have to be pretty and, and all that good stuff. You just have to put it on there however you want to put it on there. Sometimes I put it on with a, with a paper towel. And actually, I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to take a paper towel. Hello, Miss Sandy. How are you today? Dad, so I have to watch the replay. Okay, Miss Connie, we will see you later. All right, so here's another option. This is just a paper towel. I put it in the water. I just wet it just a little bit. I'm taking my paints, which y'all can see right here, and it just makes it faster. A paper towel is probably not the best choice because, you know, a paper towel kind of falls apart once you start using it, especially on this background. So maybe I'm going to dab. I know I'm going to dab when I put that stencil on because that's going to have to happen. Okay, so let's just cover up. See how it, when it's drying, you can still see that darkness through it? I really like that. Let's just make sure we cover up everywhere that we want to cover up. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. I don't like the clear gesso. Have y'all ever used clear gesso before? I used it today because I wanted that brown background to be my base. So I wanted that dark rustic color to come through. But how many of you have used clear gesso before? I know I've talked to my, my peeps about it before. Hey, Donna. Hey, Luann. Uh, 
Pe Sandy, I have not started packing yet. Don't remind me. <laughs> I have to first get boxes. That's step one. Boxes, boxes, and more boxes. So I, I, we just talked about that this morning. I said I, I'm going to have to find some boxes. Okay. So this is going to be my first layer. You know what I think I'm going to do? Hmm. Do I want to do, um, now look, I need to put some right here. I don't have any right there. Okay. So I don't want it to be too busy. So I don't think I'm going to cover the whole thing with this stencil. I'm just going to like kind of, just going to use it on like, some little areas. Y'all know what I mean? Okay, so like I said, I've never done stencils before, so don't laugh at me. Okay, um, I'm going to have to come with a lighter color, and I don't, I don't want it to be white, and I don't want it to be brown, because those are the two colors, but I want it to be a nice color. Let me get my color wheel out. Okay, so we've got the blue, the orange, that's going to be my brown. I'm going to stick with the orange. I'm looking at my complementary colors, and then I'm looking at my, my pop colors here. If y'all are in my group, y'all know I love to use my color wheel. So we're in the blues. Our browns are going to be covered here. And then we've got like a blue violet and a yellow green. Let's go. Let me take my pop colors this way. Red. Let's go with kind of like, I'm kind of thinking on the, um, on the like, kind of like a tan color. Let's go with like a golden color. Let's see what I have. Oh, this is, uh, no, that's a little bit too brown. Let's go with um, like a yellow oxide Tan, titanium buff. Let's see how that's going to work. So I don't want it to be white. This might work really well. Let me show y'all what I'm thinking of. So this is a tan color. And then this is a, a yellow oxide. Okay. So you can kind of see already just by putting this color right here next to this blue, it's going to be gorgeous. And even if I kind of mix these two together, these colors are just going to pop against here. So watch what I'm going to do. Let's see. Okay. Sea glass. Do a soft yellow. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Yes. Pink. Move a little right to be even. Move a little right to be even. Move a little right to be even. I'm not sure what that means. Uh... Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so it's the clear gesso has the one that I bought, which is um, Liquitex acrylic medium clear gesso. Um, it is sandy. It is very sandy. I do not like it, but I'm using it because I bought it. So, okay, let's go. I'm going to take a paper towel. I wet the paper towel. And I also have some sponges. Maybe I could use the sponges. I'm just going to try something. Don't laugh at me. I don't know what I'm doing. But I think it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to go all the way off. And let's change that color. Let's go with a little bit of that gold instead. Not digging it just yet.
Let me try this. I'm gonna kind of like layer it, see what happens. And mix the two colors together. Mm, I need to do something different. Mm, let's try that. My designs are too much in a line, basically, and I want I need to change them up. So I'm gonna try that. Let's see what happens. bit of this gold over here maybe one over there gold right here yep so I'm not a stenciler as you can tell not a stenciler at all but we're just going to play around a little bit more and see what we can come up with. And then I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do to this. Because we're going to make this background do something crazy for us. Just adding a little bit more. Let's get some of that gold right there. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go with that because me and stencils, we don't get along. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> well, you know, this is my new technique Wednesday and every Wednesday I come on and I try something new, but I incorporate my acrylic painting within the process. So today my new technique is a stencil. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna call it, call it done. <laughs> it might not look very bad when we're done, but we will see. Try a sponge. Yeah, I do have a sponge. I have a bunch of sponges. What's that on me? That was nothing. It was just my water bottle. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. You want me to try a sponge real quick? Because I'm also going to, um, I'm going to add a, um, a glaze over the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to add a glaze over the whole thing. So I'm going to show you all how to how we're going to glaze this. And show you what the glaze is going to do. Yeah, that worked a little bit better. I do like that better because let me go back over these. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I kind of like that. All right, so let me show you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a um where is it at here it is i need to let this dry and then i'm gonna take this is gonna be fun this is my quinacridone nickel i'm gonna make this like a glaze let me show you how i'm gonna make it like like a glaze 
I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put some of this. You don't need much. I'm going to put some of this in a little bowl. with a little bit of water. See that color? That color is gorgeous. We have to make sure that this is dry though before we do it. Okay. So then I'm gonna take the paper towel and I'm going to stir this up first. I could just stir it with a paper towel, huh? See that beautiful color? Mmm. I'm going to pass it over to kind of calm everything down. Oh, look at that, how pretty. Okay, I just used it all up. Look at those colors, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, we're not done. Don't go anywhere. I'm also gonna take some of this blue and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just about out of water though, but I'm going to take just a little bit of this blue and I'm gonna make a really, really watery substance. Maybe a little bit more water. Okay, super, super watery. Let me wring it out a little bit, actually. A little bit more. I'm trying to get more of that blue in there. I'm trying to get some of that blue on top of it. There we go. Let me go a little bit more. A little bit more blue. I'm just trying to make it more um, soft. Okay. I did not like how bright the colors were just popping out at me and they weren't blending. Much better. Don't be scared. I always say that to my peeps. Don't be scared. Just try it.
Okay, so let me explain to you what I'm trying to do right here. I do not like that the um, the stenciling was so like massively coming out at me. It was just like too too bright. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to blend in like kind of like the corners of the stenciling into the background so that they they like they roll better with your eyes basically is what I'm trying to do okay A little bit more. All right. I like that better. Perfect. Okay. Much, much softer. We have a much softer background. Now let's start on our painting. We haven't even really gotten to that part yet. So let's get started. I need burnt umber. If y'all happen to see my burnt umber anywhere, let me know. <laughs> because I lose my paints all the time. Let's see where my burnt umber is. Burnt umber, here we are. I also need my whites and my greens. Okay, let's go to town. We're not really going to town. We're just, that's just a Southern thing. Y'all know that, right? Okay, so let's start with our cross. Stained glass look, doesn't it? Isn't it cute? I like it. Okay. All right. Hi, Miss Faye. Hi, Miss Pat. Okay, so let's look at this picture that we have that um, we're going to be, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so we're going to go with um, burnt umber and this yellow ochre that I already have down. And we're going to start there. And I'm just going to take a regular um, flat brush nothing fancy at all and I'm gonna start creating a beautiful kind of like a reddish brown for my cross and I'm gonna make it look old and like woody you know wooden an old wooden cross so this is where my cross is gonna go it does not have to be perfect. We're just going to make it. A flat brush works best on here because we're working with like 90 degree angles. I need more paint. A little bit more water. So you decide whether you want the top of the cross from right to left to look like it's above the other piece or you can make them look like they're just laying next to each other and i'll show you what i mean okay so i have that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my black i'm going to take my black thank you black for showing me exactly where you were all right, and I'm going to take this blue and the same blue 
and I'm going to start like I don't, I'm not even cleaning my paintbrush off. I'm going to start kind of making like a, a really, really grayish blue right here. And I'm going to go on the side of my cross and I'm going to make like a shadow right on the side because this cross I want it to look like it's it's a uh, it's thick it's like a it's wood so I'm gonna make it have some shadows all on the left side a little bit at the top right here a little bit over here And I'm almost like draw brushing. Okay. So I'm trying to get my paintbrush like super dry so that it moves. I'm about to sneeze. I just want to let y'all know in advance. Okay. I'm trying to stop it from happening. Okay. I think I, I think I stopped it. Okay. So that's my little shady area. Then I'm going to come back. I'm not cleaning my paint. Well, yeah, I better clean my paintbrush off because I have some blue on it. And I don't want my cross to have blue on it. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Same glass look. All right. So. Let's do a little bit more of this gold that I have on my palette here. Okay. And I'm going to come back with, I'm going to add some dimension to it. I like to paint with my fingers because it allows me to smudge the paint around. Let's get a little bit more of that brown. Okay, so that's going to be my first layer here. It's basically, basically the colors I'm using is yellow ochre, um, unbleached titanium, and um, burnt umber. And that's what made my cross. Okay, we're not done with it yet. I have to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and I want this to look like it is raised. Okay. Cause I know I have a shadow here, so I want it to look like it's raised. And this is what I'm going to do to make it look like it's raised. I'm going to add a little bit of kind of like, this is the edge of the wood right here. This is the edge of the wood right here and it's going to be this all of this right here it's a little bit too light all of this right here is going to be lighter and so you see how i'm leaving like about a quarter of an inch below it i'm going to come back with a little bit of a darker color right up in here and that's going to make that's going to give it that 3d effect where it actually looks like this is a thick piece of wood okay and then i'm going to do the same thing down here just a teeny bit
Can y'all see that okay? What y'all think? Alrighty, so far so good. Gives it depth. That's exactly right. Okay, hey Mel. Okay, so now let's go to our. Um... Thank you, Miss Elise. We spend lots of time. By the way, my tribe is open right now. We spend lots of time in our tribe learning how to paint. That's actually everything we do. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to start with some white. <clears throat> We're going to start with some white. And I'm, I'm just going to be like really loose with this. I'm just going to start making. I'm using the same paintbrush, by the way. I'm just going to start making some, uh, some parts of the lily. The Easter lily. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Watch carefully because this is going to be the fun part. Okay, so I need to add depth here. All right. And in order to add depth, what I'm going to do is the first layer of the, um, the lily, like the, the parts that I want to look like they're in the back, okay? I need them to be, to have a deeper color than the, the front part of the lily. The lily is basically laying down. All right. I don't know if y'all saw the picture yet, but I'll share it with y'all. So this part of the lily, I'm using like a gray. This is like the back, the back of it. This is going to be the back um, petals. And I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being really particular because I'm, I'm a very loose painter. I don't try to make everything perfect. I just do a lot of um, like free painting style. So I'm just using like a gray back there. And then I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come back with another layer of white on top. And that's going to add a lot of depth to it. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm also going to add some green to my palette because I have a little green... Um, this is like a lime green. I have a green stem. I should have done this before I did the white. I'll just have to redo it. I have an old green stem back here that's just like a bud that hasn't opened yet of one of the lilies. And I'm just going to make that like that. And let me use a different paintbrush so I'm not having to clean my paintbrush over and over. Let me try this one. I'm going to go back to the white. And it's kind of hard when the paint's wet, but we're just going to do the best we can. Just making my little stems here. Let's go with a big one back here. I'll check y'all comments in a minute if anybody has any questions because I know I'm moving kind of fast. Wasn't too sure how this would turn out, but I am loving it. <laughs> Miss Luann. <laughs> Come on, give me some give me some kudos here. <laughs> You've been hanging around me too long though because you know like some of my this is this is new technique Wednesday number 40 um what is it 43 and yes some of my new technique Wednesdays were big flops and I was like okay this is what not to do for a new technique Wednesday 
All right. Y'all are too funny. I love it. All right. So that's the beginning. Um, let's go back to my gray colors. My gray colors on my um Y'all, if I would show y'all my water right now, y'all would not be happy with me. And you know how I like to change my water all every time I paint, I change my water. Yeah, that has not happened in about three days. So I cannot show y'all my water right now. Y'all would not like me. Okay, so I'm going back with some grays back here just to make it a little bit. Ooh, I love the background. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. I love when things end up turning out right and I'm not making a fool of myself. This is going to be so pretty. We're going to add a little bit on this side because I feel like this is empty. So we might add another flower right there just for, just for giggles, just because I think it would look better if we kind of balance it off, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. All right. We're going good. We're going good. Okay. So my Easter lilies um, have some beautiful bright green um, leaves and the stems are kind of like yellowy green because it like the veins are going up in the Easter lilies. Oh, or add words. That's a great idea. Yeah, you could put Happy Easter or He is Risen or something like that. That would be beautiful. So yeah, you kind of have some room here to play. I can always give y'all a stencil too if y'all want like um, you know, like a template, if y'all want to paint this. I would love to see what y'all come up with. All right, so here's my second layer of white. And this is the top layer. This is going to kind of start adding that dimension that I was telling you about. So I want my white to be um, opaque. I do not want to have transparency. I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to come here. Okay, this one needs a little bit of work. Let me go back over here. All right. I need some veins. So I'm going to use this lime. It's a little bit too much lime. I'm going to use this lime green just for the first.
going in with a little bit of gray. Have a little bit too much green going on here. All right, let me let that dry and we'll come back with a little bit more white. Gonna stem. Right there. Let's get some legs going on these. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Let's go a little bit darker. Turn this one this way. Ooh, that's a little bit too dark. Going to calm that down. All right. A little bit better. Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to put one right here. There we go. Just laying it in there, making it come to life. Let me do another one just about, just a little one right here. All right, let me take a step back. Okay, that's the beginning. We're almost done. We're gonna add some shadowing and we're going to kind of like tie it all together. We're going to go back to um, this. See this shading that I did here? I'm going to do some of that shading around the, uh, the flowers as well. So I'm going to go back to that blue and black. And just make kind of like a kind of like a grayish color the blue and the black very very um wet like i mean very dry paintbrush but uh um see how i'm just like wiping it off so i can get it really dry and i'm gonna start kind of like um grounding that's too light i need a little bit darker need that darkness to come through. I need it to look like it's laying down, you know? So I have to I have to ground it. I have to bring in some like some shadows. It's a little bit too light. Yeah, that's looking better. A little 
little bit more. I do not like this. Let me fix it. Okay. I love the background. You know what I would have done if I would have done it differently? Let me get some better white right now. If I would have done it differently, I would have done, um, I would have brought this a little bit further in. Don't y'all think? Are y'all kind of with me there? Watch what else I'm going to do. This is, this is a, a very, very, oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all can't see the whole thing. Okay. Love it. Yep. Love it. You are a prolific painter how do you decide on what you're painting every day i'd run out of ideas so i purchased um i purchased a membership uh, yes i do have subscriptions myself <laughs> i purchased a membership to a, a, a photographer's website where people drop photographs and um then i purchased the photographs and I can use them as reference photos. And so what I do, because you know you can't just use anybody's reference photos, or you can't use just anybody's photos. So what I do is I I um I just go through the website and I find I find pictures that that move me. When I'm looking at them, they just speak to me and I'm like, oh, I want to paint this. So, but I also do, um, I poll my, my tribe members and I ask them what they want to paint. So I give them the opportunity to tell me what to look for, but in the end, it's my decision on the design. Like they, for example, they told me, we want to paint an old wagon leaning against a fence with some wildflowers. Okay. That sounds like fun. So I went online and I started looking on the, the website that I'm, I'm a membership of. And I started looking for an old wagon with, um, I'm just putting some more white in here, by the way. Um, an old wagon with, um, with wildflowers leaning against a fence. And I found a beautiful photograph of one. And so it was my, oh, sorry, I, I knocked that over. Um, it was my decision on what the final product was going to look like, but they gave me the idea. And so I'm gonna show you what we painted. I think y'all saw it. Didn't y'all see it? So we painted this. And so the, the, the first idea came from them, but the final painting came from me. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't send me pictures. They just send me ideas. So yeah, it's super, super fun. Y'all, isn't this painting gorgeous? I think it could be even prettier if we made the, um, the cross a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm going to actually do that right now while I'm still talking to y'all, and I'm going to start looking at y'all questions. Um, I'm going to make the, the, the cross just a little bit lighter. I feel like it can, it can use just a little bit, just to pop off of that beautiful green back there or brown or blue, whatever we ended up making that color. So I'm going to add just a little bit more of the lighter shades. OK, 
just in some areas. Maybe a little bit of the golden color. I don't have any more gold on my palette. And this right here, I don't like. I think if I would have done it again, I would have gone just a little bit further with my um, my stencil. But I love the way the stencil added a totally different dimension to the entire painting. And um, I just think it looks great. I really, really love it. You know what I'm going to do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I get all giddy and stuff. Watch me. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a little bit more of some of that. You see that darkness that I added right here? I'm taking my little sponge. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to go back because it's too wet. I have to dry it off. Let me see if I can dry it So let me explain to y'all why I'm doing this. Hang on. Okay. I want, I know I said I was done, but I'm not. I want some of that, um, that dark color. I'm trying to bring it a little bit over here because I feel like it's unbalancing the painting. So I'm just trying to add... I'm going to have to come back and fix it some because I feel like I'm, I'm messing it up a little bit, but okay, so let me do one more thing and then I'm done. I, I promise, I promise, I promise. Y'all know how that is. You think you're done and you're not really done and you keep on playing with it and then the next thing you know, you messed it up and Yada, yada, yada. And that's kind of where I am right now. I'm just putting a little bit of um, finishing touches to it. And I am done. I promise. Okay, now I like that even better. It kind of made it even more rusty and, and old looking. How cool is that? All right, guys, I think I'm done. Add a verse from the Bible. What do y'all want to put? I can do that. This is the one I read yesterday in our group. A masterpiece. I came in late. I can't wait to see the whole video. Hi, Latrice. We're glad you're here. I would have to do it in white, I bet. Don't you think? White would show the best if I put something on there. I'm going to think about it. going to think about it. How do you decide on size of flower to painting? Um... I had a I have a reference photo and I'm gonna drop it in all of y'all um, in all of y'all groups that I'm in right now. I'm gonna drop the reference photo so y'all can see it. Isn't it awesome? I think I ended up liking the the um the stencil after all. It came out really really good. This is so so beautiful. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right here, and since I'm not sure, I'm not gonna do anything for now. I might put something there later. Okay, guys, thank y'all so much for being here and for letting me be a part of your afternoon today. I had a blast. This was so much fun using a stencil and trying different things. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you next time on New Technique Wednesday. Hope you have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye.